Hey guys, welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2. Dear pesky hedgehog, Shadow and I have taken over the space colony arc. The Chaos Emeralds are now a permanent guest at the Eclipse Cannon. I dare you to find them if you can. It's from Eggman! You know something? I never understood why Sonic Adventure decided to go Day X. Because, um, you know, I understand not specifying a year for the sake of avoiding Back to the Future Syndrome. But why not specify a day? <laughs> Back to the Future Syndrome? Oh my god, guys, guys! This is the day Eggman blew up the moon! I wonder what's gonna happen in real life! <laughs> Sega, you lied to us! Yeah. Now, the, the funny thing about this scene, though, is is that, like, it's all cool and shit that Eggman blows up the moon, but my favorite my favorite detail from the Dark Side story is yes. that none of, the yes. none of the governments give a shit when he, when he threatens shit. to blow up the planet. Shadow just goes, our threats fell on deaf ears. We blew up the fucking moon! What are you people not listening about? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, to, to, to be fair, I always took that as as a result of him blowing up the moon. The people are throwing such a shit fest that they, they're 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 t they're panicking too much to listen to what Eggman has to say afterwards. Yeah. I wonder, I'm not I'm not I'm not like I'm not a scientist or even a smart man, but wouldn't blowing up half the moon like fuck up the tides and shit? Oh, the, like yeah, that? the world's fucked. <laughs> yeah. Like... <laughs> Also, um, okay, so everybody makes a big deal about the moon not being blown up in all of the in all of the later Sonic games. I think Yuji, not somebody, put Yuji Naka on the spot. No, 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 no. It was it was it was uh, it was Izuka at, Azuka. at okay, Sonic I'm Boom sorry, 14. I, I was there. Someone asked him, well, uh, you know, cause it, again in Sonic X they show Eggman fixing the moon, but in um in the games like he someone asked him, Sonic Boom was like, how come the moon isn't isn't still broken? And he just went, um, it is. You'll just always see in the other side. I'm like, I'm like, he's not like congrats. That's not how the moon works. <laughs> no, it's not, because the, the moon, uh, I'm not an astrologist. The moon the always moon faces always a specific faces direction same. relative so, to the Earth, yeah. Yeah, so you would always see the broken part of the moon, but I mean, I guess this is a di technically a different planet, so you know, what, whatever. <laughs> well, no, see, but, Ted, see, Ted, what, oh, what you see is, is it, that... Oh, wait, no, you, yeah, I think you mean Mobius. <laughs> Ted, it's Earth. what happened it's is... It's even got the same craters on the moon. <laughs> Ted, once, when, when, Eggman, when Eggman blew up the moon... He, actually, he also actually slightly shifted the gravitational pull of it, so it rotated ever so slightly. That is, you know what? That That's is a good explanation. Sort of true. <laughs> it might have shifted. Being blown up by a laser probably would a shift your orbit, and b it would weigh less, which would mess with its orbit, and maybe its rotation. I don't Eggman know. Eggman just doomed the planet okay, to fall into the to sun. Something. There's been a. I, I think there's actually an alternate route if you can if you can make it over the the bridge there for the record. There is, yeah. Yeah, but you know there have been a million people who have tried to figure out what the actual damage would happen in the real world if uh, if the Majora's Mask moon fell on the Earth. Somebody try to figure out realistically what would happen if. If somebody blew up half the moon like Eggman did, okay? Yeah, someone get game theory. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing about this level is so as you as we were walking before we fell down that thing, there was like a wanted poster for Tails, and I think someone at Retro found. I think when the um, the uh, HD port of this game came out, they found like the actual file for that, and it gives like like a uh, like name, miles per hour, species, fox, sex, male, uh, date of birth, none. <laughs> 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 so technically, technically, Tails hasn't been born yet. <laughs> Tails is Tails is life. Tails is eternal. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Well, they might not have it, but one thing I do like about SA2 is they actually did write stuff for that shit. Like whenever we see a newspaper, they actually do write an article mm -hmm. and, yeah, yeah. And, and shit like that. So you know, a lot of games yeah, but it's like gibberish. So you yeah, know. but it's like the resolution is so shit you can't read it. So what's the point? Well, they, they it's just they 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 put that extra. It shows effort, Joe. Right? Yeah, yeah. I admire the effort. The, ca the, the camera to this game may be a piece of shit, but damn it, every newspaper has a pretty written article. Have you ever, like, stopped to look at the signs in City Escape? Yeah, they, they're, like, one of them, uh, in, in, in Radical Highway, one of them's, like, Amigo, like, uh, Samba de Amigo Lane or something. Uh, yeah, nice. or, uh, Got Ring, which is a play on Got Milk, because commercials were popular back then. Uh, one of the one of them is like, one of them is like SA playing SA two is habit forming. Well, it, it is. I, I do. It's I like play drug, this game Johnny. for hours at a time, uh, especially <laughs> when I was young. I did. Well, so. Johnny, Johnny, as as Ted pointed out, this is one of the first games that a lot of people played. And uh, look at the current state of the Sonic fan base. And uh, yeah. oh, you <laughs> fell off. No, I clipped <laughs> through the goddamn floor. Is what happened. <laughs> 
Uh, what it looked like to me was that y you sort of caught on the railing and slid down. Yeah, that was it. I, um, that was probably what it was. Like, Silly tails, you can't grind. <laughs> well, no, he can in Sonic Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm um, actually Ted. This came out came before Sonic Heroes, so he could not actually grind in this game. Well, we don't know he can. He never gets out of the mech to try. <laughs> Well, he's not wearing any. He might have. He might have a sick pair of soap <laughs> shoes on underneath. And, no, and no but here's one thing that I, that always baffled me. Like Tails never gets out of the mech in this game, like like for in level reasons. But he has amazing upper body strength because he pulls the entire fucking mech when using pulleys. Oh yeah, no, and he's still able to operate everything too because you can, yeah. you can uh, move the thing all the way around yeah. in circles and shoot enemies. So like, does yeah, he, he doesn't use he doesn't use the mechanical arm. He uses his own fucking arms to grab the pulley and lift up the entire. Why machine. isn't he the power character in Heroes? <laughs> well, see, Johnny, th that's actually why it, it actually tells his aborted backstory. He actually got into a uh, crippling accident between SA1 and SA2, and uh, the cyclone is actually fused with his body. He is one, oh, he is tails, he is, he is power Ah, uh, there goes that precision platforming I was talking about. Yeah, these things are <laughs> annoying. Uh, yeah, and it's like, it's when they throw the mech in small platforms like this is that when I have a problem, because the, the, you're just... Fair, you're this is the, these specific Spring Yard-esque platforms are the only part of the mech stages which yeah, really yeah, yeah. require I, you to be that precise. And I, 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 Yeah, I, I, and I understand that. It's just, at times, I, I find myself, I have to... Instead of comfortably moving at a pace that I want to, I just gotta tippy tap the analog stick in hopes of not slipping off the goddamn edge. It's yeah. it's it's just one case though is, is mostly the thing, and I just I find if I find if you just jump from platform to platform, it's not too bad. I would do that too, but then there's also the matter of the max weight issues that we kind of went over. Well, you you also get the part. you get the hover in this stage too, and they, yeah, when you get the hover, it helps. Yeah, uh, trying to it, it that's definitely helps. A, like when trying to replay. A dark side story without power-ups. You have to go through like three Eggman levels before you get the hover. You get the, the hover in Tails' second level. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, but Tails also has fewer levels in in total. Also, the, the, apparently, um, a, there's apparently like something that'll crush crush you if you if you're too slow in this area. But I always just plow through, and I didn't realize until I was playing the game. Uh, like a year ago, and somebody mentioned, like, oh, you can get hit by that, and I actually got hit there. Oh, yeah. Cut up on the the, the camera <laughs> takes its time to focus on it, so you figure it's probably going to fall down. Uh, uh, so spe speaking about Tails' short levels, like, uh, th there's a. I can't remember if, if it's been confirmed, but um, the, the, the theory goes that when SA2 was originally, like, announced, it was, it was, it was just Sonic, Knuckles. Shadow and Eggman were going to be the only playable characters, and apparently, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying this is fact. I forget if this was confirmed or not, but apparently there, there was a big fan outcry about Tails not being playable, so they shoehorned him in the mech, and that's why none of Tails' levels ha have anything plot relevant. It's just I'm going to go over here and find stuff. I'm going to. As I understand it, the original concept for Sonic Adventure 2. Now I'm not sure exactly how far in along development this concept got, but the original concept for Sonic Adventure 2 had more roleplay elements involved, by which I mean more choices. No, apparently, like, the, the choices with the... No, apparently, uh, the, that, that's been debunked. The, like, the thing with the submarine, I think that's been debunked by something. Oh, it was? Oh, okay, then, yeah, because I, I, I read that oh. for years. Did you know gaming... Uh, video about Sonic Adventure 2 said it was debunked. I need to double check their sources to be to be. Yeah, what source? Sure. What what source did, did they cite for that? Was it just the them uh, saying that? I don't I don't remember. I watched this like two weeks ago, oh. so I, I, that that's why I'm saying I need to double check. But I think it got debunked. It definitely does feel like Tails was shoehorned in this game. He was, but I do think that he has. Now I do I will say that I do think that Eggman on the whole has. Actually, you know what I think. Uh, I was gonna say I think Eggman on the whole has some better levels than Tails, but really thinking back, I I, I think that uh, Sand Oasis no what what's Sand Oasis is Eggman. Sand Ocean. Sand Ocean. Sand Ocean, Sand yeah. Ocean and Lost Colony is the 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 one on the arc with Dark. I hate those levels as Eggman. They're my least favorite ones. And yeah. but Eggman also has Cosmic Wall. Co I've, Cosmic I've... Wall and Weapons Bed are both great, and I also think his first level is pretty fun too. But I think all of Tails' levels, aside from Hidden Base, are, are fun to play. So. Well, you know, part of the reason people enjoy playing as Eggman more than Tails is just a psychological effect. Yes. It, it makes more sense yep. to be yep. in a mech yeah. shooting things as Eggman. 
and and that makes it you know more fun for players just by default because you buy. I hated it as tails. Know. Yeah, I hated it as tails. Well, to, I, I guess you know this is again just something where your experience comes into play. This is the first Sonic game I really played, so Tails being in the back didn't feel out and, of place. And, 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 and like, yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's exactly it, that's exactly it, Ted. It, it's like if, if it's your first Sonic game, then you don't see the issue. I got baggage of the classic Sonic games and Sonic Adventure One, yeah. where Tails was on his feet and he was best able to Tails, jump and fly whenever he wanted. Uh, SA1 Tails was grossly it's, underutilized. I know, right? It was fantastic. Well, I didn't. Okay, uh, I don't. I don't like the tails. I don't like the tails levels in SA in SA1 very much. They they're just shorter, easier versions of Sonic's levels. Well, that, that's what I mean by grossly underutilized. It it didn't. It couldn't reach its potential. You know, I, I don't think we've had a proper game yet that fully explores what tails can do in a 3D plane. Well, that's it's. You know what I mean. Flight is so hard to do. Is is. I, but it, it's possible. Ah, uh, goddamn gold possible. beetle! <laughs> I missed it. So, how about that Sky Soldier game? Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, apparently, the Wii version isn't terrible, from what I've heard. Um, oh, is that is that Rodea? Yeah, Sky Rod Soldier. Yeah. yeah Yuji Yuji Naka's new game. Uh, apparently, the oh. Wii yeah. U. I don't know why, but apparently, the Wii U version's garbage, but the Wii version's good. Because, well, apparently, apparently only Naka's team only worked on the Wii version. The port for the Wii version wasn't touched by him. That's why the, apparently the Wii version is better. I'm sorry, the Wii version is the better to, option to go with. Okay. So is it like buggy then, or? You know what? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I haven't played it. I haven't read many reviews, but I've just read that. Because um, on Facebook, Yuji Naka said that he only worked on the Wii version. So that's probably why that one is, is the better option of the two. Is, can you play? Is is the Wii version available in the in the United States? Uh, in day one copies, I believe the Wii version comes along yes. with the Wii U version. But, but okay. from what I understand, it's it's like a limited thing. So if you want it, and apparently it's like seventy bucks to get the version with the Wii copy as well. Uh, so if you mean, I never, I had no interest in playing it to begin with. But if that's your thing, um, I'm not sure if they'll still be available by the time this is on YouTube. But if you're into it, maybe look into getting the yeah. version that comes with the Wii version. The the sad thing about the about Rodeo the Sky Soldier is that it it, it really shows, uh, from what I understand, how how weird and pr how troubled the the development process was for that game. Uh, ah, that's too bad. It's like Yuji Naka and his team. They're great developers, but they haven't seemed to have much luck as far as their projects go. They worked on. Uh... How much of his team is Sonic Team people? Because Yuji Naka also did Knights too, didn't he? Yep. Knight well, yeah, that's what Rodeo the Sky Soldier is like. Knights 2.0. A lot of somewhat. people from Sonic Team worked on Knights. You know, it's pretty much. It's the other thing know, they've done other than Sonic. It's the other thing other than Sonic, yeah. <laughs> and Billy Hatcher the Giant Egg. Yeah. Billy Hatcher. Well, Sonic Team has a couple different things under the belt, actually. Uh, Ristar for one thing, but uh. You don't really hear much about those things. Because they're not Sonic. Well, they have Sonic in their name, <laughs> so people just associate them with Sonic. Yeah. And, um, well, it, it's just, you know, they, they've made some good stuff, some pretty damn good stuff, but nobody knows about it. It just, yeah, nobody, that's exactly it, nobody, can, nobody knows about it. I could go for some Chaos Soda right about now. Oh, I, I was actually I was actually looking up the signs of a. Uh... No, it, it, it's not chaos soda. It's chow soda. No, I think it's uh, no, I think it said chaos because it had like the blue bubbles. So it's supposed to like you're actually drinking. You're drinking essence of chaos. I drink that shit. Go to the structure. And you know, I don't I don't know if you can see the subtitle above chaos soda in the sign behind tails, but oh, it's God, called God. primal venom. <laughs> you? Primal venom. I'm gonna yeah, eat that, your that, brains. That, that, that definitely sounds like you're drinking chaos. No, you know what that sounds like? It fucking sounds like that soda from DMC. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's chaos soda. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think there's another sign for a. No, you know what I was well. thinking of? I was thinking of that uh, that soda from Sonic Unleashed. The uh, the Chow, the, the what was it called? The uh, one that Chip hates so much. <laughs> oh, I don't remember. Yeah, but I, I'm actually looking at the like the, the billboards and ads. Up on Sonic Retro, and uh, one of them is like a, a gun justice poster. <laughs> uh, got ring. I I mentioned 
playing SA2 is habit forming. Pizza Sonic 2, yeah. it's the sauce. You know what? I never, <laughs> I never understood Knuckles' line when Amy starts pressing him to get out of Tails' his way. Knuckles goes, Hey, where you going? Going. Well, I what? think he's, he's, she's, she's pulling him, so he's like, Where are you going with me? I guess. Well, they, they, I, I, there are, there are a, a bunch of lines in this game that. That kind of They're so disconnected sense. from each no, other. No, there are there are some lines that I think could be slightly mistranslated. Like the one that I think is at the end of the game where Shadow goes, "Is that what Chaos, Chaos Control, Control is? is?" I think that's yeah. supposed to be something else. Uh, yeah, there's mistranslation issues as well. But I also get the sense that none of this shit was recorded in the same place. Oh no. Like, a, like it, it has that distinctive feel that you get from YouTube dub videos <laughs> when everyone is has when everyone is recording their lines stuff. in their own bedroom. Yeah, like separately. Ryan Jungle was and recording in L.A. and Scott Drew was recording from Antarctica. <laughs> yeah, so so like there's no, there's no like I when when everyone is recording in one in one studio. Okay, voice actors basically they record their lines one after the other like in sequence, reacting to each other, and that helps them. You know, yeah, act like you're actually naturally. acting, like you're in a TV yeah. Show or so a they're movie. acting <laughs> off of each other, and that uh, that allows for a more authentic uh, set of reactions. Whereas with this kind of voice acting, everyone is disconnected, and nobody is really uh, organically reacting to each other. That is the feeling that I yeah. always get from this well, game. I still think that I still think. Well, it's just I still think that you know some performances vary greatly, but I still think that. The, this set of voice actors, I still like. I don't think Ryan Drummond's the best Sonic, but I like him as Sonic. Yeah. Uh, Dean Bristow is a great Eggman. Uh, I love David Humphrey as as Shadow, Shadow. Yeah. and I, I think Scott Dreyer is the best Knuckles we've ever had. Um, I uh, I always have a soft spot for Scott Dreyer's Knuckles. I just think he needed more direction. <laughs> I, that 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 right there. I'm sorry. That is the most annoying thing about these levels. Oh, this right here. Not hitting the walls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Break button. When you have break, to do the break button. Break well, button see, is um, the most important. <laughs> Johnny, the, the thing about direction is, as um, you know, because not every game or movie or something can have all the actors in the same space at the same time. But if you have a good yeah. director, that that won't be an issue. Which weird is that the voice director for all of the original um, the 3D games with the original Sega cast, Rouge was the voice director. Lani, Minnelli, yeah. what have you? So you think someone in the game who kind of had to obviously go over the the uh, the role and the characters would have? I don't I don't want to seem disrespectful, but would have done a fucking job and made everyone sound good. Well, to be fair, also Rouge is one of the weaker voices in the game as well. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Well, here, here's the, here's the other thing though. This was what 2000. Uh, two th this th probably this was, was released in 2000 in and what, uh, it w the, so the well, recording was probably done in the 2000 in 2000, 2000. My, my, my point is by that point okay games that started out with English voice acting usually had you know a, f a full you know effort put into the voices uh, voiced translated games were still just as a standard really really bad well, even big name ones well, Lewis, like final well, Lewis, fantasy the, the, 10 the, the thing the thing is weird about this one is that the rumor goes because this was handled by sonic team U usa but what it says is that they wrote the script in english so it started out with an english script and then japan translated it and then for some reason america took japan's translation of their original script and did another translation of the Japanese translation of the original script. And that's why a lot of the lines are disjointed and don't make much sense because they're doing a translation of a translation, oh, a translation. of something they wrote in their fucking original country. Well, you know, he here's the thing. I get the feeling that um, the Japanese script would have been, during the translation process, seriously rewritten. No, it probably it probably was. And they probably did localize it back. <laughs> yeah, what 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 would have what would have happened as a result of that though is that the script gets 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 rewritten during the translation process and a lot of the direct a lot of the direction uh in the cutscenes in in the sequence of events and the the order in which things are said and all of that is based directly on the Japanese version and that re that would have resulted in the original English script not directly being, you know, fitting for the game anymore. Like, it would have had to be retooled. Although that still would have been more natural than translating the Japanese script, just saying. Anyway, how the hell did I get an A rank in that level? I have no idea. Magic. Because you hit those walls magnificently. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, the A rank is just based on time. Yeah. It's the later ranked missions that Ugh. really start to... The ones that say you can't hit the walls, otherwise is instant, there, it's, instant there's, fail. It's, it's, Fuck you those. have to beat the level, uh, get 100 rings. I think there's don't hit the cars, don't hit the walls, and don't hit any cars and walls. So, that fifth yeah. mission is hell. Don't uh, touch just the road. The <laughs> <laughs> just get off the road, fly. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and may I just say <laughs> before we plane. completely disappear, that car handles like trash. Yep, it's, it's that is it's, all. It's we'll, we'll have more. We'll have more uh, car driving levels to talk about it in detail. Yeah. So. Mm. Well, we'll have at least one more. <laughs>